Hey, hello everyone and welcome back. This is Terry and welcome to another edition of Anoka Today. And, you know, today is one of those days where you just have to just chill and let things slide off your back because shizzle happens in life. It's, you just can't escape it. Nothing is ever simple and easy when it should be, when it could be, but I should be in San Diego and my flight was canceled today and tomorrow and I am scheduled to fly out on Wednesday. So, fingers crossed on that one. This is Vita Reed. So, that is going to be a really nice time if I ever make it there, but I will get there eventually. It is my second home. I do have a box to undo, but you know, disappointments happen all the time. That is life. Once you get to be old, you just get used to them. And I am old. The other disappointment that I had yesterday in my rush, I can't remember when I did it. Well, I know when I did it. Um, I just wish I would have not did it. But I was lifting up an encyclia, something that was hanging here, and it came crashing right down on this. And right in here, you can see there's a leaf over there that just flattened the crown. And the crown was doing so well. I think it'll still be okay, but it just looks horrible. I just got that, that's alabaster. But again, you just have to let that stuff go. Can't sweat it. Life is like a box of chocolates. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else before I open that box. But yeah, really, not too serious. This. Excellente, a mounting very successfully. You can see it is on the twig and it's putting out new growths. And that's my Del Curry. They do bloom small and it's a deciduous dendrobium. We will see. And look up this way. And those spikes up there are developing excellent. Right bump into it. It's my long florin, long florin. And here's my Antonia Primatochylum. It's got nice roots, has matured that growth, you can see. And this is one of my cold styluses. It's finally waking up. I think this is Orsini. So, yeah. Anything else I can show you? Nothing really. Nothing really down at this end. Nothing really here either. To be honest, I've been moving things around in anticipation of my trip. Just trying to make sure that I actually dumped out all my buckets so I wouldn't come back to an infestation of, you know, mosquitoes. So, and I've got most of my stuff off the floor, except for these two that need to stay there. And this is that one plant, gray that chocolate drop. And this is the whole plant. And it is giving me that growth, this growth, and it gave me this growth this year. Oh, look, there's a sheep. Yay. 
Okay, this is Norma's plant I got from Norma, one of the only ones. So this is a treasure. I mean, I can tell it came from Norma. Look at it. Big, big, big. And my trick of glass is just chugging along, chugging along. This is my acreopsis. So, yeah. With every tragedy, there's got to be a silver lining. You got to look at the positive. You can't just accept the negative and dwell on it. You have to move on past. So, yeah. I'm glad you guys are still watching me. And hopefully next time I'm... Well, I guess I'll be here tomorrow. Um, I was going to say, hopefully next time I will be in Cali. But it is not to be today. But anyway, I will get there. Thanks for watching. Okay, don't go yet. Because I forgot this box. And I'm not quite sure. Irina. The only Irina I know is the one on... She has a Facebook group, I think, and today on Instagram, oh my God, she had that beautiful chocolate drop cross that I want. So if this is Irina, that Irina, I hope that's in here. But anyway, these are the last, this is the last two boxes, besides ones that will be from Florida, Sunset, Suncoast, not Florida, Sunset, oh, the top there. Florida, Suncoast. saying is that there was a sale on eBay and I got a dream Phalaenopsis and it's really a nice one it was like $20 15 and it's almost a blooming size angel hair which is Saint Swithin time Sandarianum which is a bucket list that I would never think that I would ever have because Sandarianum is such a slow growing plant and you can see that it is nice size and it's got a little baby you can see how it's fanned out so it looks like it could actually be possible to be blooming soon um it looks like it is potted in a mix of leka bark um i'm not sure what else is down there but it is a dream and it should have really long petals i'll set, i'll try to post a picture if i can if i can find one i'm sure i will um but like I said, it should be a really nice uh, thing. And that's my video, folks. Thanks for watching and enjoy your orchids always. Don't sweat the small stuff, the shizzle.